All right, I'm so excited to share with you guys the cool things we are doing at Ayana Bio. We grow plants without growing plants in the ground. And by that I mean we use plant cell cultivation instead of agriculture to deliver or create plant bioactives. The picture that you're looking at here is plant cell callus, and this is the first step in creating plant cell lines. Also, I'm thrilled to report that today, actually this morning, we announced the launch of our first two plant cell ingredients and I'm going to talk a little bit more about that at the end as well. So we exist to, to uh, address four main problems. One is a global nutrition problem, and that might not be what you think it is. Second is to break the limitations created by agriculture. Third is to address the climate crisis. And then last is so, to solve supply constraints related to uh, ingredient quality problems. All these factors have negatively impacted people's access to proper nutrition. Recent statistics published in Lancet show that in 2023, more people are gonna die from poor nutrition than from smoking. That narrative was a significant feature of the White House Conference on Nutrition that happened last September. So why? The reality is that most people can't afford to eat fresh food. Uh, and as much as we might not like it, processed foods are a necessary evil. I happen to like Kraft macaroni and cheese. My kids like Kraft macaroni and cheese. I couldn't have survived college without Kraft macaroni and cheese. But, but what if we could take Kraft macaroni and cheese and we could be formulated with ingredients that provide health benefits? If we want to fix the nutrient deficiency problem, we need to find a way to integrate nutrient-dense ingredients into processed foods. The climate crisis has already started impacting our food supply. There's been a lot of me recent media attention around crops like coffee and wine grapes. I'm not sure why coffee and wine had to be the canary in the coal mine here, but you know, I would have chosen something else, but nonetheless, we have to deal with it. So it's estimated that half the land suitable to grow coffee will be gone by 2050. And I don't know about you guys, but the idea of coffee and wine being impacted by climate change scares the hell out of me. So. I need coffee and need wine. There's been a lot of recent news about heavy metal contamination in cacao, and that's going to be a hard problem to solve with agriculture. So agriculture is it's going to be difficult to fix, but that is a problem that Iona Bio can solve. At Iona Bio, we use plant cell cultivation to improve access to health beneficial bioactives. So we're not trying to replace agriculture. These are some of the most nutrient-dense plants, the ones that you're looking at here, but they're also some of the most expensive. We can bring these ingredients to market in a more sustainable way and at a more reasonable cost. Earlier, I mentioned the launch of our first two ingredients. We're getting quite a bit of media pickup these days on that, or actually this morning. So at the reception tonight, you're gonna to be the first to try Iona bio-based plant cell ingredients. And Jason Kack, they're not going to be nefarious powder, bags of powder, so don't worry about it. <laughs> so you'll have a choice of two different drinks tonight. One is going to be, the first is a Manhattan Spice featuring plant cell echinacea, and the second is Zesty Limeade featuring plant cell lemon balm. So try one of them, hopefully you'll try both of them. I hope you, hope you guys enjoy them. Members of the Iona Bio team are going to be here all day. So if you want to talk more about the cool things we're doing at Iona Bio, feel free to find me, some of the other team members around, and we'll be glad to talk to you about that. Thanks.